So hello, this is a BSI module of a Peugeot 607 year 2000. Uh, it, it, it is a, a Sagem module. Um, there you go. Yeah. And, ah, shit, let me, let me give me just a second. There we go. There we go, right. Okay, uh, what I have done is I've removed the immobilizer chip, um, the EEPROM chip. You can easily see it's been removed from its place by a hot air gun. This is the main processor here. Right, now, back to the chip, okay? Here's the chip, right? This is the adapter I'm gonna connect it to. This is the program itself that I'm gonna use to get the software off it. And this is the software interface. Okay, now how to make sure that your chip is right way in the adapter. When you look at the letters, you can you can barely read from the top, 93C66, right? Now the letters are facing, you know, right way, okay? And if your letters are facing right way, okay, then left bottom is always the first pin. Okay, so that's from left to right, one, two, three, four, and up, five, six, seven, eight. All right, here we go. I'm gonna put it in pause for a second, um, get that chip in that adapter, and then we're gonna pull the, pull the program off it. Right, so now the chip is nicely in the adapter, okay? Right, okay. The device is on. Let's go and read it. First of all, um, let's make sure that we have the right chip. Okay, so we're gonna go to the preferences. We got. I have already found it. You see, yeah, that ninety three six six. And on the right here, it's an eight bit chip. Okay, so we select. You see, right now, it's just a basic here, empty. I haven't read it yet. Now I'm gonna click read. And, um, you know, watch what happens, okay? Well, of course, first you have to comply here. Um, if you have any issues with a connection to the chip, uh, they will come up here as um, a red dots and notifications. Um, I believe mine is fine now, so let's let's go ahead and read it. There we go. Very nice. Okay, As you can see the memory size. You can see, right? Uh, let's just uh, let's just verify it, shall we? Okay, let's just verify. Okay, let's see. There we go. Verify passed successful. Very good. So that means that chip was for, um, was read really well without any errors. Okay. And uh, next, uh, just give me a moment. I'm gonna close this program. I'm gonna go to the uh, pin code calculator, and I'll show you. Here we go. Now we are back. So we have two different softwares to calculate that pin. Obviously, you've seen. Um, you've seen. I've already tried before. With a different dump. Um, anyways, I'm gonna do it again just to show you all. Okay, see this is a specifically for my model BSI 607 Z8 and 93C66. Right, let's select the dump file. Whoopsie, should have actually saved my dump first. <clears throat> No problem, we can do that. Uh, right, let's see. Okay, new 8-bit. There we go. Okay, let's go and calculate the pin now. Uh, so where is it? Nope, not here. Hmm. 
Okay, that's interesting. What the bloody hell is it? Let's just give me a sec. Okay, I'm back again. Right. Now we got them two different software pieces open again. Okay. Right, let's have a look. Let's calculate the pin then. Let's see what do we got here. We have 607. Z8, Aprom, 93, C66. Okay, here we go. Let's select the dump file. Uh, let's go there. There we go. This is what we recently dumped. And here we go. We got pin. Right there. Excellent. Now let's use the other piece of software. Let's see if we get the same result. Um, because that's not always the case. You can get different results. So let's just check it, okay? 607. There we go. We have two different versions here. Come on, focus, you fuck. All right, here we go. Sagem, okay? This one. Now let's do it. Okay, so it asks us to select the dump. There we go. Wrong place. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Oh dear. This one here. Ah, okay. So the last piece of software has actually already added the pin code to my file name. Well, we can use another dump that I uh, pulled up before. Here we go, we got the same result. And um, uh, what's extra, we even got the pin code <laughs> and the pin. But um, obviously, Nobody's gonna steal my car, so there you go. Um, go ahead, take a look at it anyway. So, this must be the correct pin, anyway. Now, um, let's virginize the um, demo chip. Uh, I have to think how I'm gonna do it. Am I going to write all the F's mm, to the file? Which means I'm gonna uh, shall I replace. Uh, right, let's have a look how it's done, okay? See this program, if I do that, here we go. Now this is completely blank. If I write this back to the chip, there's no program in there whatsoever. Should I do that? Not quite sure. Should I just reset it with some piece of software? Probably yes. I'm gonna have to look around, do I even have such a piece of software? Anyway, thanks for looking, bye, I'm out.